Hey guys and welcome back to another video of ECK Sports and today I am going to be going over my MLW 2021 All-Star Game ballot. I can choose seven players from each league. I'm going to go over some players that maybe I think could make it after I do my selections, so like snubs and yeah, I mean without further ado, get into it. Alright, so for the AL, I think there are a couple locks. I think that's Drew Davis, Ryan Crouch, obviously, Nick Saylor and Kyle Schultz. Those are going to be my locks. Now you have a couple guys that I think are in the running. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to vote a magic player here. It doesn't look like it. There's a couple guys. Sean Flynn, Alec Warda, Andy Duran, Brennan Russell, Jackson Pearson. I'm thinking about all those guys for three spots, so I have to pick and choose. Now, I have stats right here, so I may be looking at those. So, if you really look at it, while Sean has a high average, his RBIs are pretty low at two. His home runs are low. While he has a very respectable OPS, it's below a lot of other guys. It's even below Jack Agner. So, I think I'm going to to take him out of this conversation. So now we're down to four, I think. So the next one we're going to think about is Alec Warda. Currently, he is he is fourth in the AL and OPS, and technically second because Pearson and McLeod have only played one series. So he definitely passes that. The average, he'll, he's only at 238. Not so great. Home runs, he's got four. That's really good. RBIs, he's got 11. That's also really good. So I think Alec Warda is going to get one of my votes here. Now, Pearson test. This is really tough because he's only played one series. And yes, spoiler alert, I have seen the IG lives for, you know, Wildcats and Cobras. And that definitely helps Jackson Pearson's case. He's got three homers. And if you count the IG lives, spoiler alert, four. His OPS is pretty high, but again, he hasn't played that as many games as some of the others. So he's got good home runs. He's got good RBIs. Again, if you count IG Live 10, but eight. So, I mean, I think you got to vote Jackson Pearson. I know it's it's not the most popular choice, but I think I really have to vote Jackson Pearson. And then you have Sean, or no, not Sean, we knocked him out. Andy and Brennan. Now we're gonna, let's compare the two. Andy got the higher average. OPS, that goes to Russell. Home runs, goes to Russell. RBIs, goes to Russell. So while all of you guys are gonna call me biased, oh, pick Andy, pick Andy. Listen, I totally think Sean and Andy deserve to make the All-Star team, but I am going deep into the numbers right now, and when I do that, there are other guys that deserve it slightly more. So I am going to vote Brennan Russell. And yes, sorry Magic fans, no Magic players. I know there's a lot of Magic fans on my channel. Uh, I just, I don't know, like... Yeah, I could vote Chadwick or Liam, but I think the other guys deserve it slightly more. But the snubs on this are obviously Sean and Andy. Those guys, you know, I wanted to vote them, but again, I only have seven votes. Um, if I had more, I would vote them. In the NL, the NL is a lot easier. Because what do you do? There are a lot more locks. Cheatham, Lock, Allen, Lock, Norp, Heath, Tommy, Trevor. Everybody should be voting for those guys. Those are the easy ones. But now we get to the tough one. You vote Zach, Shima, even Neil Smith, Daniel, Caden, Zerlag. The only ones I could really cross out right now are Jorgensen and Clayton Price. I'm going to cross off Neil. I'm going to cross off Shima and Caden. Ooh, this is tough. This is really tough, guys. Um... See, Dan, I want to pick Dan. His hitting has been terrible. His pitching has been really good, but his hitting has just been so bad. Statistically, he's been like, he's been the worst hitter in the league. I think he has the lowest OPS. Do I go with Zach? He's only played one series, but he hit, he, he got a lot of production off Jimmy Norp. Jimmy Norp is probably the second or third best pitcher in the league right now. If I go Brennan Zerlag. Let's compare Zerlag and Zach. Now, Zach has not played as many games as Zerlag has, but of course, that helps. Zerlag in the counting stats, but that helps Zach in the averages. So let's look at it. So you got Zach Whalen, 375 average, which is better than Brendan Zerlag, which is like 167. OPS, also Zach Whalen. Zach Whalen's is better. Zerlag is about 8. Zerlag is 861, and Zach is like... <laughs> 1,700. And then you go to home runs, and they're tied. RBIs, Waylon 5. Zerlag, 8. That's a tie. My tiebreaker is always hit. Zerlag has 4, and Zach has 3. So right now, am I about to vote for Brendan Zerlag? I don't know, but Ben Wilson, too. But he hasn't played enough games. Jorg is out. Caden's out. Clayton's out. Dan. Oh, 
Shima, Neil, I'm voting Brennan Zerlag. I cannot believe I'm saying that those words. I am voting Brennan Zerlag for the All-Star game. No, I gotta vote Dan. I gotta vote Dan, though. I gotta vote Dan. No, 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 I'm voting Brennan Zerlag, folks. For a recap in the AL, you have Brennan Russell, Ryan Cratch, Alec Warda, Drew Davis, Jackson Pearson, Nick Saylor, and Kyle Schultz. And then in the NL, you have Brendan Zerlach, Tommy Coughlin, Jonah Heath, Jimmy North, Dallas Allen, Trevor Bonham, and Chris Cheatham. So those are my All-Star Game picks. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.